Con Bonwa. Good evening, Vault Dwellers. It is I, Loki the Mad Titan, and welcome to episode number four of Killer Frost. I don't have a funny joke this time. I'm not going to say Frosty the Snowman or Wendy's Frosties or any of that, but I guess that in itself is a joke. It is super dark and spooky. This is with my Pip Boy light on. This is. This is. <laughs> without my pit boy light on so if this lantern wasn't here we would not be seeing much of anything at all this is where we left off and if you are familiar with frost then you know we have no quests the quest is literally just to survive and we've been exploring we were slowly making our way to polymer labs why i i don't even know why just because we had a robot show up and the robot was like, hey, go to Polymer Labs for work or something. So that's where we decided to head it. We checked out Sanctuary. Uh, wasn't too much going on there other than the fact that the uh, vault salesman, the vault tech representative was there and he was not glorified and was only like partially radiated. And then I accidentally made him a follower and changed him and made him look like Nate and then sent him away wherever, wherever he went. I don't know. To heaven, maybe. So we're just going to keep exploring. That's the short-term goal. I think the long-term goal, I kind of would like to go to, to Nuka World. Because Nuka World, anything, which I know it's like over here somewhere. I don't remember exactly where. Nuka World Frost stuff did not exist when I played Frost. So we might as well start moving. So we're heading south. Uh, the shadow people are still around. Oh my god, it's dark. And that that really doesn't do anything at all. I can't even can't even really see. This is this is not gonna go well. They're just gonna travel in the dark. It is pitch black. Utter That did somebody just turn on the lights there just to freak me out? Is this a wall ahead of us? This is a wall. Okay. So, we need to get around this wall. I already forgot. <laughs> I already forgot what I was saying. Alright, we got some water. What weapon am I using? Uh, I don't even remember what this is. It's a silenced something. I've been picking up and trying different weapons. I hate them all. Can't kill the shadow dudes because I'm insane. I killed way too many people. I'm trying not to kill people, and then people are just like randomly running up to me and making me kill them, even though I don't want to kill them. Why did the icon disappear? It was there, and now it's not there, but I'm even more south than I was. That's super confusing. But oh my god, you can't you can't see anything. I can't I can't see. I have the volume on. I know you might be sitting there saying, this is this dude playing with no sound? This this is what Frost sounds like, apparently. Just dead quiet. I don't specifically remember that, but most of my memories of Frost were from underground. Because that's where I started off. This one had a custom... Can't even get in here. Had a custom... Not custom, I shouldn't say. Had options. It had like six or seven different options. Go back to episode one if you want to see. I picked one of the options and just went with it. When I played Frost originally, there was no options. It just started you off underground and you had to work your way through there. And this is just very uncomfortable because it's so unsettling not knowing what's ahead of me, especially considering I've been dealing with shadow people. And they could be perfectly blending in. It says there's something, like a farmer or something. I mean, I should probably be sneaking also. That might be a smart thing to do. That way I'll know if anybody's coming. I mean, I would turn off the pit boy light, but... I know it's going to let people know that I'm here. But without it on, I, I can't see anything. And I notice a lot of times when I watch the episodes back, they're even more dark. Uh, for you watching at home, so... Uh, not necessarily at home. All right, now somebody's around. A uh, Mr. Handy. Oh, is this Gray Gray Garden or whatever it's called? All right, so I'm found by a survivor. Okay, so if I get, I don't even remember drinking whiskey. 
Oh, I think I took everything that I possibly had for sanity. Okay, so if I get any closer, the survivors are going to get mad, and then they're going to want to fight me. And then I'm going to have to kill them. And that's a tree. And... <laughs> And I don't want to. I don't want to kill anymore. And that might turn these handies. And there's a lot of them. Hostile. Are they coming for me? I said I was found. I don't. I don't. I don't want to fight. I'll even put the gun away. That doesn't seem to help. I feel like that's something that's missing. In a lot of these is. Uh, I'm playing. Uh, Oblivion. Elder Scrolls 3. 4, excuse me. Morrowind was 3. Uh, and you can yield in a fight. I'm just going to keep heading south. I kind of wanted to detect it. And then leave. Did I actually detect it? So I could at least get the XP for detecting it. Okay, I did. And we're just going to keep going south and leave. Because I don't want to fight robots. I don't think I'll lose karma for fighting the robots. I have no idea what my... Not karma, sanity. I'm more concerned with sanity at this point. But I know I'm already insane, and it happens so quickly that, and I have very little that I'm scrounging up to fix that problem. All right, so we found the, the road. Wait, is that the person right there? No, I can't, I can't see. It's a sign. It's a sign. 45 miles per hour. That's not a person. Where is... Do I hear something? I feel like I hear something. Do you dwellers hear that? I, I don't know. I'm hearing things now. Where are we? We've got to be close. Alright, so we're going to go basically go this way. And there is a road. There is a road here. Sort of. I generally... Uh, don't like to take the roads because I feel like things are going to be waiting for me on the road. But hey, what is this? Just, just some, just some frozen crows. That's not weird at all. Nope. Nope. That's not weird and spooky at all. Just some frozen, just some frozen crows. Okay. What time is it? What time is it in game? Can I get that from stats? Not in there. So just a reminder, I have not played Frost since like it first came out and I haven't really played Fallout 4 since like it first came out. So I played Frost more recently than I played Vanilla Fallout 4. But that still doesn't mean all right, so it's 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 the dead of night. Can I wait? That's apparently not the right button for waiting. <laughs> Neither is that. I don't know how to wait. Okay. Yeah, I hit the waiting button for oblivion. And then I hit the map button for Skyrim. I'm just I'm messing myself up. Because all the games have different button configurations. Alright, this is... I believe this is where I'm going. To get to... No. That's wrong. I don't want to do that. I want to go straight? Yeah, the road... Where's the? Why does the road look like it's... Because I started to go down the road, that's why. I got off the one road. And you know what? Let's stop. Let's stop sneaking. It's just taking too long. I'm impatient. I mean, you're watching this, so you're probably impatient for some action. Or at least to be able to see. Oh, wait, in, in this way, I have to. I, blah, blah, blah. In Fallout 4, you have to, like, sit down to wait. Alright, yeah, this will work. Like, you have to, like, sit down in, like, a, a chair or sleep in a bed. Yeah, this is terrible. When I started the previous episode, the lantern that I have was working really well. Holy Jesus! So, sorry. 
<laughs> Sorry if that was loud. Oh, legit jump scare because this fine gentleman decides to spawn in on top of me. Excuse me. And he doesn't want to talk Excuse to me. Excuse me, ma'am. Would okay. you happen to know the way to Bunker Hill? Give me caps. Why? Why do you need to go there? I can't devote. Dude, are you walking away from me? Bro. Hi. Excuse me, ma'am. Would you happen to know the way to Bunker Hill? I would say give me caps. I don't, but give me your caps anyway. <laughs> that was bummer. Excuse me, ma'am. Would you happen to know the way to Bunker Hill? Sorry, I don't. I mean, we can, we can walk together. Oh, wait, I found it, right? This is Cambridge Pop. Yeah, I finally found it. Woohoo! Alright, so. Not this building specifically. That is a spawn point in Vanilla, if I remember correctly, where he spawned in. It's just so dark, I can't even tell where I am. So. No, I'm still not. I'm still not quite there. Yeah, where, like, all kinds of weird, interesting, random encounters occur. Alright, so I found it to the labs, but oh my god, is it so dark? I can't... I can't see anything. So you try to get into the Cambridge Polymer Labs. Is this the entrance? Alright! Yes! In the dead of night, I can somehow progress my way through <laughs> the darkness and find my way to where I'm supposed to be. It only took 15 minutes. Now, other than the robot telling me to come here, who immediately wants to fight. Listen, I was told to come here. Come at me. Why are you fighting me? I was told to come here. Okay. All right, is that turret trying to shoot me? See what I mean about the guns? These guns are terrible. What did you have? CPL, director's key. Who's found me? Like, I got no vats. I bumped up my perception like you wouldn't believe. And I also did lockpick, but I still have no vats. Um, let's go back to the minigun, because why not? There. I didn't want to keep using the minigun because I think it's ridiculous. But it's one of the only ways I can kill things. Are, is it like, are they fighting? Is somebody else fighting? Is that what I hear? Upstairs? Because nobody's attacking me. Alright, bunch of junk in here. Yeah, inside the Pip Boy light seems to work significantly better than outside. Again, it's not a Pip Boy light, I keep saying that, but it's a lantern. Oh, that's who was trying to shoot me? That's who was trying to shoot me, and they couldn't get me because I was underneath them. Alright, let's put this bad boy away. So why did the robot want me to come here for work, and then I'm just getting hassled right off the bat? So we're going to explore around a little bit. That's the whole point of this. Try to keep it as interesting. I'm not picking up everything. It's, it's locked, but it's empty. Schematics for a missile turret. Okay, yeah, I'll, t I'll take that. What did it say? Oh, ball peen hammer. I was like, I saw ball. I was like, what? Ball what? Alright, so there's lots of holes in the floor. Nothing super exciting in here. So, other than wasting some time, hopefully for... Somebody else is... 
trying to shoot at me through the floor? I still don't have a red blip. It just sounds like somebody's got really bad gas. Alright, we're going in here. This is the only other place I have. And there's the director. Who's slow motion. I'm closing the door. Alright. So he had two bucks on him. Totally worth coming here. For two bucks. Uh, fusion core. I'll take that. So yeah, Frost Plus, Bingo. which I know nothing about, has only so far seemed to add in a couple weird things like having the uh, Vault Tech salesman, Vault Tech, Repre Vault Tech representative being in Sanctuary and having a very janky conversation with Codsworth and uh, randomly ran into Grognak in the last episode and fought him and then he exploded. The biggest problem I have with this is I don't remember like the computer entries and stuff. Like if I was playing uh, Fall 3 or Fall New Vegas, I'm much more familiar with the vanilla files and things to remember if this is vanilla. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm releasing the security lockdown. Okay. Hopefully that doesn't uh, cause too much of a problem. Yeah, what's vanilla and what's frost added? Call from Kemp. It was a warning. We have to finish the project. We can't hold out much longer. Erica, please read. This sounds like vanilla. If I'm wrong, please let me know, and I'll go back and read everything. Yes, yeah, so I'm not gonna even, not gonna even bother if it's vanilla, because that's not what we're here for. We're here to get frosty. All right, so a bunch of blips had pulled up, pulled up, and somebody's trying to shoot me again, but I don't even know from where. Bunch of blips, blops, popped up. So that means there's more enemies somewhere in here in the kitchen. Oh wait, I think I'm starting to remember this. I'm starting to remember this. This is starting to look familiar to me. Anything in the lunchbox? No. Supplies are scarce in Frost. Can I get like a mega dose of please make me not be insane anymore? Does anybody have that? Because I would love that. Cigar box, casual outfit, cameras, take the rat away, and a skull, because of course we need a skull. Some oil, surgical tray, lighter. I don't know if I finished my thought from earlier. Yield, yielding is what I was referring to. In Oblivion, if you accidentally start a fight or you don't want to fight somebody, it, you know, you can't yield to everybody, but you can yield and it will stop certain altercations from occurring. Uh, this seems like... Alright, so clearly, computer. The type of game that would benefit... Or mod that would benefit from a yield, especially from the survivors. Like, you know, if I put my gun away and start backing away, they should recognize, okay, I'm not a threat anymore. I, don't know. I vaguely, vaguely remember this. Alright, so I'm decontaminating myself. And then that's like the Skyrim door where I'm going to exit out of here, I think. Okay. I don't remember if there's anything good in here. And even if there was something good in here in vanilla, it doesn't mean that there's going to be anything in here. Alright, so we are closing the door. Right? Yep, and then... But it didn't close the door. There we go. For some reason, I thought I was going to do it. And then we're opening the other door. And there we go. All right. So perhaps this is where all the enemies were running around. I didn't. I didn't have to. I didn't have to do. <laughs> I didn't have to do. 
Ah, he could have just went like that. That's funny. All right, so yes, there are enemies here. I'm betting ghouls. I really don't want to keep using this. I'm going to try to switch back to the... Um, I was even using the sledgehammer thing for a while. That was kind of fun. The flame, flare gun was kind of fun. I just want things that are not going to take absolutely forever to kill things. And why I can't vats anything? Yeah, okay, so yeah, I do remember this. You come in here and you have to make a chemical or something. I don't think there'd be any reason to do this in Frost, though. But you can still come here and get a bunch of radiation, apparently. The Ericus Terminal, that's bound to have some more vanilla stuff. Is that a ghoul mask? Oh, no, it's a skull. <laughs> so if that was a ghoul mask, I'd put that on. Because I would keep the ghouls away from me. Oh, wow. High rads in here. Hi, Rads. Alright, I don't trust any of you. Any of you. You're already dead, but I still I still don't trust you. And we hear turrets. Because of course we do. Close if I could aim. Pardon me. I've been trying really hard not to do that anymore in videos. But my wife got sick again. Yes, again. This gun is it's just it's me, I guess. My aim is just so bad. I was using this a lot in the beginning, but again, aim was ridiculous. All right, I actually hit him that, that time at least. All right, I hear somebody. Can I vats? That's what I really want. Whoa, okay, that's a lot of somebody. See, still, no, I can't vats. Alright, I woke everything up. But uh, on the bright side, I mean, look at that. Look, did you see that shot? I'm right here, and somehow I still missed. Like, this is gonna be a disaster. All right. So where'd they all go now? Because they can hang out, and then I'll just take them out from up here where they can't get to me. Expert locks. Security's too good. Nope. I boosted my lock picking, but I did not boost my hacking. Look at that! Sh like, where are those shots going? My God. Yep, they really, really want you to, uh, invest in your skills and perks and all that stuff to get things going. In yeah, my mod for computer terminal hacking in lockpicks is, like, nice. partially working. <laughs> yeah, unlock that safe, baby. Alright, I don't even know where the safe is that I'm unlocking. So this series is a lot like my, uh, Stealth Boy, okay. A lot like my Fallout 76 Blind Death and Dumb, except I have actually... Ah! Feral Ghoul. I have actually played this before, I just don't remember anything. Yeah, in uh, 76, I had not played 76 at all, so it was just me experiencing everything for the first time. Alright, so where did he come from that he took so long? Isn't there something down in here? I thought that's where the um, glowing one was. Nuka-Cola. Magnifying glass. Pencil. And pencil. All right. You're dead. You're dead. I shot you several times, so you should be dead. <clears throat> I don't see anybody. Although I hear somebody. There he comes. What's up, girl? That's a nice dress you're wearing. Okay. Money? Yeah, I don't 
remember, I said this in the previous episode, I don't remember any place to spend money except for that weird little town underground where there's a couple shops, but even then it's kind of useless. And like, I can't use chemistry because I'm in combat. I'm like, what, what, why can't I use chemistry? I don't even think I would be able to use it because I don't think I have. I don't want the coffee cup. I want the money. That was clearly more than one dollar. Should I take this anyway? Yeah, just for fun, I'll take it. Oh, somebody's coming. It says down. Now it says it's on my level. Where is he? Yeah, because I'm, I'm kind of sick of the music. <laughs> I'm kind of sick of the music right now. The combat music. Doom, 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 doom. Alright, so I just went around in a big circle. I thought that was an explosive it's on the door. All right. Can we kill this last ghoul wherever he is? Now it's saying he's up. This ghoul is a mystery. Why can't he path to me? If he knows where I am, what is that? Cow meat. Okay. I guess I'll take some cow meat. Oh, look, it's another canister that I have absolutely no use for. Now, you would not do this. Because you, it would jack your carry weight. So I'm just being silly because I'm here. Alright. So where is he? He, I can see him through the wall. Okay, but I was up there. And I did not see him. Hey, Bubba. Oh, it's you! That was cool. Alright, can we stop at the music now? Because it's super annoying. Alright, so I got the password to go into Radioactive Town. I don't know if there's any reason for me to go into Radioactive Town. But clearly, I don't remember how to do it, because that's not open. Here, we'll grab the other canister, too. Okay, so you put these in, and if you put them in in the right order, this opens up, and there was like, it's like a one random piece of power arm equipment or something like that, if I'm remembering correctly, that was not particularly useful. Again, I could be misremembering, but that's my memory of that. Alright, so I got, I think this is, oh my god, oh my god. I mean, I can't even pick things up. All right, is this the computer I need to use? Yes. This is it. oh, I'm 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 betting one dollar US. That <laughs> there is no reason for me to be doing this. There's not gonna be anything cool in here. Nothing to help me. Not from Frost. So I don't know why the robot told me to come here. That might have been vanilla, and I just didn't remember. Oh, there's totally another one. I don't remember there being that many. I thought there was only like three or four. Alright, so there should be a glowing one, I think, in there. But let's go check it out. Because I can't remember what was the purpose of going in there in vanilla. I, I'm sorry I keep saying vanilla, but... It's the only way I really know how to describe it. Alright, so more rads. Got some hard hats. Lots of radiation. Uh, this dude, Bony McBone face, um, some brain fungus, oh wait, wait, what's this? Wait, this is something. That is something. I can't remember what that is, but it's something. <laughs> Obviously. For a second it made me think of, uh, The Parsons Insane Asylum? That can't be right. Does it say in here? Let's take a look at it. What would that be? Aid? I don't know where that would be. Junk? Miscellaneous, maybe? Blood sample, body pin. Duh, 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 duh. 
Moldy flesh, not for them. Yeah. What is this? It looks... Looks like something straight out of Star Trek. U238. Donut. Do donut. <laughs> donuts? Dunkin' Donuts? Remember what this is at all. So, we'll keep it. Alright. I grabbed all the goodies. I feel like this was a, some sort of puzzle or something. If I knew I was going to be doing this, I would have I would have looked it up ahead of time. But I forgot what Cambridge Polymer Labs was. In general. Alright, so check current fabrication parameters. Run fabrication routine. I don't know. If I need to come back here for any reason, I will. So it's one, two, and then... Chemical reagents and then isotope sample. So what could I put in here? One, two, three, four. All right. Wait. Now I'm stuck. Do yeah. Do nothing. And what can I put in here? Oh. That's what that was for. And then I would put in the other things. And then again, it's supposed to make a helmet or something like that. Something. It might have been a helmet. Might have been a chest piece. But regardless. I don't see any reason I need that, and I don't see any reason to have come here. What time is it? That was in data. Oh, the sun should be coming up. Hallelujah. So yeah, let's let's try to get to Nuka World. Because I, I didn't read much. The whole goal when I do these mods is I want to explore them as thoroughly as possible try to check out every little nook and cranny as best as I can with keeping in you know somewhat the spirit of the game without you know having the rage quit and not really know what's what's happening so I can say for sure I didn't read anything about frost plus or anything that they added since like the very beginning I don't think there's anything else to explore in here, right? Down here's the potties. Yep, those are potties. And then here, it was just that one room where I had the war with the robot. Okay. Lunchbox with a little robot dude in it. How cool. All right. Let's try to find Nuka World. So we're going to go back. We started off very east. Very east. Oh, very west on the map. And we're, you know, that's where the Nuka World is. Not Nuka World on tour. All right, so we're going to go back west. So we are currently kind of in the middle. Mm, yeah, I mean, honestly, kind of in the middle. So we're going to head back, and I for the life of me, I just remember the icon was always like over here. I don't remember where, so we're just going to go, I don't really want to mess with Fort Hagen or anything again. Oh, that actually says cleared. That's interesting. I don't know if that's entirely true. But yeah, we're just going to head straight west. We're just going to go... I can't go straight west because Cambridge Polymer Labs is in the way. But once we get past Cambridge Polymer Labs, we're going to head straight west. We will... We're going to go on foot. So that way we can encounter whatever we encounter along the way. And hopefully no more Shadow Dudes because all I could do is run away from them. Is that just a car engine? Just... Okay. You no, know, just it's where we dump our car engines. Is that that same dude? He's still just standing here. I need to get to Bunker Hill. <clears throat> I need to get to Bunker Hill. I kind of, kind of want to kill him. Okay. Now well, we got water in our way. So, surprise, surprise. Water's in our way. And now, instead of being nighttime, now it's foggy. 
So we'll just swim across this bad boy. And... There's another settlement ahead. Because without spoiling anything, I will say... Since I played this a very early version of this and beat it that uh, they did include Far Harbor in some way. Oh, this is Overland Station. And survivors? Or are they friendly? They are currently friendly. So pointing my plasma rifle at them, even though I'm terribly inaccurate, probably not the best idea. Are we still friendly? Got a dangerous look about you. Hope you ain't here for me. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not. Hey, my back hurts. My feet hurt. Everything hurts. Okay, everything Lost hurts. Lost track of how many blisters I got. These are the same ones that are here in vanilla. I'm almost positive they just have different outfits on. Okay, you guys got nothing here, though. I am not allied to this settlement. How would I become allied to that? I would have to kill them. The last them. trader who came through was telling me about the ghoul farm, the one west of Salem. He said they've got a tarberry bog set up in an old swimming pool. Hey, good for them. Nice to see you. Yeah, they just got some smokes up here, here and see. literally a, a pot to piss in. Okay. Wish I'd thought and I couldn't that. even sleep in their bed if I wanted to. We'll leave them be. No reason to mess with them. They were friendly to me. I want to be friendly to them. I wish more of the survivors were like that. Yeah, the ones in the in the Lexington tracked me down. They came like out of their buildings to come find me and kill me. I was like, aren't you trying to survive? Ah, that clear underwater mod. <laughs> I hate not being able to see under the water. I get they're trying to be realistic, but no thank you. Alright, so what do we have here? Is that a, another ghoul? That always have to be ghouls? I'm pretty sure that's a ghoul. And I actually hit him. And somehow, like, that alerts every ghoul in the world and they've all found me. And again, no, I just don't have vats. Like, is vats, is, is vats not a thing in Frost? Oh god, I fell into the water. Oops a daisy. Alright, we'll try to pop up over here and surprise! Dear god. Can you imagine ammo? Hey, a bobby pin! Oh, look at this. Look at this guy. Alright. Hey, where'd you go? Trying to kill you very badly. Hey, Bubba. Come on back. Lunge at me. Come on, Hulk. Alright, my god. I am terrible. And what I, I had one grenade. I threw a grenade and then it didn't it didn't it didn't let me throw another grenade. I don't know what that was all about. I'm only allowed to throw one grenade in a fight. But yeah, I boosted up my perception again. Thinking that that would help. This is normally... Super Mutants. I think I even see some gore bags over there. Not... Not ghoulie ghouls. Normally Super Mutants. Yeah, the water treatment plant. I'm almost positive. But they're all going to just path to me immediately from a mile away. They're like the highest perception for some reason. What is that? Heavily damaged. That doesn't help me. That doesn't help me. Wait, some ammo.
yeah, I guess I really start need to start picking some weapons perks that are specific to the specific type of weapons that I want to use. What in the world is happening right now? Why is why is Ghost Nick Valentine here? Frost gets weirder <laughs> weirder and he has no hands? It's literally ghost or hologram. Yeah, he's not here. And I can't talk to him. So what in the world? I d is it, was that supposed to be spooky? I mean, I guess maybe if I ran into that knight, you know, that other dude jump scared me by just, you know, phasing into existence. So maybe if that was at night and I had just stumbled across, you know, Ghost Nick Valentine standing there, that would have scared the bejesus out of me. But otherwise, I don't really understand what the point of that was. Now he's still just standing over there. I do not want to go through the water treatment plant. I I don't I don't really see how that's gonna help me that much. I don't see that there's gonna be anything in here. Could be wrong. I did say I want to explore, and I will explore pretty much every location, but... Nuka World or the Water Treatment Plant? I think, let's try to get the Nuka World. Like, if Cambridge Polymer Labs is any indication, a lot of the places here are going to be... not super exciting. I don't expect them to put something for Frost in every in every location, but I know certain locations are completely overhauled and 100% have to do with Frost. Fiddler's Green. This normally has ghouls. And I think it did have ghouls because this is right by Fort Hagen. Life Preserver. But somehow I did not... You guys alive? Somehow I did not detect this. But it looks like still ghouls? Dead ghouls? That computer, I can hack it. Which would get me into the safe. Theoretically. That's it. Alright, see if this safe has anything good in it. If not, I could have tried to lockpick it. All right, it gave me a key. I don't, I don't need. I don't know if I need that key for anything. Teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. All right, sorry. No excuse. I don't have a toddler anymore. This has definitely been interesting. My son's eight. And I, oh God, I'd be so dead. Ooh, I think I knew that was there too, and that woke people up. Oh, hello, power armor. I can't close the door, though. Can ghouls open doors? I can't remember. Hello, power armor. Frag mine. Recycled fusion cells. So this guy was a doomsday prepper. He's all suited up and ready to go. I mean, I have better power armor than that. And I am... Seriously considering using the power armor very soon. Because I don't ever use power armor. Alright, come on, chubby. Boy, that one's even bigger. Alright, so I took out somebody. How did he go through the lamppost? Did we take out his legs at least? Is anybody? Oh my god. Here. Did that help me at all? Nope. Oh wait, he did. Sort of. Yeah, I need, I need something better than this 
I feel like I'm just like poking him with a toothpick. Very inaccurately. Did you die, please? Oh my god, like, look, I still can't pass. This is ridiculous. Okay, um... Any weapon that will work. Anything at all. I'll, I'll use the revolutionary sword again. I don't care. That did, like, nothing. How many ghouls are there? Who threw a grenade? Yeah, this is not not going well either. Um, improvised explosive device. How much damage does that do? Hey, buddy. There you go. Is that pathetic? Where are you going? Stop, stop sliding down the hill. Okay, so wow. Yeah, I just can't efficiently kill anything. That was embarrassing. Alright, I'm still trying to go west. I'm just going to go west. I'm not even going to bother. I was just trying to get to the edge of the map. For the most part. How, how close are we to that even? Not that close. That was uh, embarrassing to uh, play, so I can only imagine how bad that was to watch. My apologies. I will try. I only got one level up this time, but I will try to improve my battling skills as best as I can. Because that was uh, no bueno. That was not fun. Would have died a million zillion times. Oh, this place. This doesn't help. Oh, wait. Alcohol. Alcohol gives me sanity. Anything else? Can make bandages. I can make a fungal purge. Oh, I can cook stuff. Oh, well, I cooked one thing. <laughs> All right, does that give me some XP? That's like how I how I level in Fall seventy six. How do you level in Fall seventy six? Cooking. What we got? Crispy squirrel bits and uncooked instamash. I mean, I'm here. Oh, man. Oh. I know it's not exactly what you're supposed to do with them. You're, what, you're supposed to shoot them? I don't know. My guns all suck. So, uh. There we go. Whee! Where'd it go? Oh. Alright. That was mildly entertaining. Nah, I kind of hope for a bigger explosion than that. All right, west. Radio signal found. Really? I don't know if I believe that. We'll leave that on. That was a distress signal, not the radio signal. I can read. What do we have here? Anyone out there interested in buying some chems? Come find me. I'm at the three trees with flags. 
Wait for me there, and I promise you won't be disappointed. These cams will really take your head off and spin it around. All right. He's selling some cams. Pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Okay. Selling implies commerce, and which means also possibly buying. Civil alert system broadcast. All right, I keep picking up weird radio station signals. All right, have I made it to the edge of the map? Because this looks edge of mappy. Yes. Okay. So there's something over there I can see. Because there's that fence. As soon as I see this, yeah, that makes me think edge of the map. Come on, jump. All right, I don't see anything north. But of course, it's foggy. Super annoying. All right, so for now, we'll head south because at least there is something south. And just for the sake of sanity, I will. Uh, in between episodes, look up and see where Nuka World is and see how f terribly far off I am. Alright, that's still end of the world stuff. Pretty much. Can't really hear that, dude. And I lost the... What the... Oh, this is the, um, Rust Devils, right? Oh, Redeemers? Can I kill Redeemers? Whoa, they have missile launchers and stuff. I hope the answer is yes, I can kill Redeemers. I guess can I kill anybody is is really the question? Did you please die? You too. Did you please die. Alright. Really? There ought to be a million dudes here? I can't even kill an iBot. I can't even kill an iBot. How is he not dying? Alright, missile launchers. Oh, why is there so many iBots? It's my new technique. I just throw bombs at people. Look at this guy. Ooh, the robot? Yeah, these were the the rust devils or whatever. Please die. They very much want to uh, check your bodies for things. So really, can we stop with the missile launching? There was somebody else over here. There you are. Redeemers. I do not remember redeemers in Frost. Ain't dead yet. Why you gotta throw your gun like that? Sacrificial cutlass, laser rifle. All right, I gotta go take out Mr. Launcher people because they're making me angry now. Who's over here? Oh, somebody's behind me. Are you picking up stuff off the ground? I can't see. Christ. Wait. How many of those? How many dudes are there? Where's this guy going? I want to pick that up when you're done. So you can't use it anymore. He's missile launcher man. He had a ripper. That's oh, just a flamer. I already have a flamer. Strange me. So, so these guys are cannibals. Alright, so they deserve to die. 
All right. Well, that was that was uh, that was a lot more action than I, uh, I thought was gonna <laughs> was not. All right. I'll leave that radio on in the background because at least it's some noise. So it gets so quiet in here. Sometimes it gets kind of like eerie that there's no. I say that after a huge, ridiculous firefight where I'm getting rocket launched. Liber's Command. Okay, that seems Sacrificial Serrated Blade. That seems Black Flight Suit. That sounds cool. We got Operator stuff. Scoped. Hev oh, heavily damaged. And he had a Black Flight Suit too. These guys, yeah, the Black Flight Suit's cool looking. Simple missile launcher. Simple miss. I have no idea what a simple missile launcher is. All right. That's just a laser rifle. Another black flight suit. I mean, pretty sure I've checked everybody so far. All right, because I came from over there. All right, I ran up and took this dude out quick. Throwing my lunch boxes at him. Alright, the radio really didn't get much louder. I know we come here for a quest. The turret's not hostile. The turret is 100% hostile. But apparently for me to kill things, this is what I have to do. <laughs> oh wait, there's another one? Oh, up there? Okay, ouch. Hold on, I'm coming. I had to, I had to come to you. Alright, let's turn that radio off. He's just repeating himself about what happened. That was interesting, sort of. I'm, oh, because of the turret. I'm like, I'm not in combat. Why are you saying I'm in combat? I killed everybody, except for the thing that I have to walk right up to. Yes, hi, hello. Goodbye. Okay. So there's a computer terminal over here. Let's read that, that note that we picked up. Super interested in that, that I did not recognize. So I keep forgetting, notes are miscellaneous, right? Wasn't O'Hanson's note. Liber's command. Hold the satellite array until Orion's return. Repurpose the bots we captured and send scouting forces for additional units. Send scout force, including engineers, to Northwest Access Point. Fix train. If possible, salvage parts. If not, ration, ration remaining psycho pending. Recipe acquisition. We may be shorthanded. Supplement with whatever else you have on hand. Our warriors must have every tool at their disposal when we take on King Arthur's men. What? All right. This I. This is not vanilla. Or I'm smoking something serious. I do not remember that. And uh, not only, not only do I not remember that, um, that master. Nope. Can't break the code. Nope. Okay, that's a bummer. All right, so we have that master lock safe in Gorski's uh, camp, and now we have a master locked computer terminal here. Now I think that that would. Open up over there, I think. Wait, how do I get back? Put the gun away. There's nothing left to kill. All right, this is not Nuka World. I did not make it to Nuka World. All right, where? I'm getting disoriented for some reason when I get up here. Oh, so this is yeah, right above it. So that opens that, and then there's something in there, but I don't remember what. All right, so this. This was interesting. So we have redeemers that I don't remember from when I played F Frost at all. So it could be just I don't remember them for some reason. And 
King Arthur, which I 100% don't remember anything about King Arthur either. So either my memory is way worse than I thought it was, or this is newer stuff. Not sure if it's Frost Plus or any of the other Frost extra stuff that came along with the Frost stuff. But very, very interesting. Next episode, we will at least be finding the entrance to Nuka World. That much I can promise. Anything else, I don't know. Because it really depends on what happens. If I get distracted, yada, yada, yada. With that being said, I bid you adieu, goodbye, and good night, Vault Dwellers. Thank you so much for watching.